from Neo 39. I'm out here today with the Puma Foss Terai Hiker. Check this out. This is dope indeed. Look what we got right here. This is Puma's take on a Euro Hiker with a modern sporty aesthetic. Starting off right here at the outsole, we got a translucent green sole giving a nice pop of color. On the midsole, we're working with white and some Puma branding. Above in the upper, we have a leather rand stretching throughout the entire shoe, 360 degrees. Then on the upper, we're working with a combination of synthetic and leather. You can see a little bit of leather in this bronze right here with the green stitch. And then throughout, you have a deep royal, almost, actually I would say it's an eggplant synthetic going throughout. Of course, you can see the form stripe right there. Beautiful, it's just like a beautiful work of art. And then as we go along, you can see these plastic rivets running right up to the two D-rings. And then these large perforations right up alongside the collar. When you look right here, you can see the elastic rope lace running through all black with hits of green going all the way up to the tongue where we have some smaller perforations in the tongue and then the Puma branding emblazoned right on there in a tonal execution. Of course, we don't stop there. We carry over with one tongue tab as well as this teal neoprene inner booty. You can also see the lace enclosure right here, real nice and fresh, got a little bit of a toggle going on. And then you can see right here a heel tab with more of that exposed teal neoprene and then of course teal stitch throughout where we have a smaller perforation on that end another shot for you and then here's a quick shot of the sole you can see a very aggressive sole with the Evertrack branding right there as well as the Puma right there now I'm not quite finished because we got one other number this one's a little bit more tonal in the use of black but starting at the outsole you can see a purple translucent sole along with the white midsole once again with the Puma branding you got the black leather rand carrying throughout the shoe. Then combination again of leather as well as synthetic on the upper. Here's your forearm stripes. Same large perforations. Plastic D-rings with metal rivets going throughout. Of course you have the elastic laces black with the purple hits carrying you right over to the tongue where you got a little bit of a smaller perforation with that Puma branding once again emblazoned on. Here's a quick shot of that tongue tab and a purple neoprene booty along with your enclosure being your purple plastic toggle. And then of course here's your heel tab with some Puma branding I forgot to mention the first time around in purple. Purple neoprene, purple stitch, smaller perforations, and then here's that quick shot of that sole for you in purple. Very clean and very fresh. I'm really digging these. I think this is a real nice look, a good direction Puma's gone in, definitely capitalizing on the hiker trend you're lately seeing. I always joke around that I'm seeing all these metropolitan cats looking like they're coming from the woods. More and more as we're seeing the hipster trend continue forward and stuff. And I gotta admit, I do that sometimes too. I'm rocking all this Patagonia stuff and I'm a city boy at heart all the way throughout. Even though I grew up in Canada, I didn't grow up in the wilderness. Nevertheless, this is a good take on that modern metropolitan hiker. I love this. Check this out at Neo 39, 3090s Colorado, Pasadena, California. And check out the blog spot, neo39footwear.blogspot.com. Check out our throwback Thursday for today, something you definitely don't want to miss out on. This is Mickey. We'll catch you later.